our landing, uh, the landing after my second flight, I'll show you a picture here. That is Spatial Atlantis landing at Edwards Air Force Base. That is one of the last landings of the space shuttle program. And it was uh, a little bittersweet. I mean, I was glad that we had a successful mission, very happy we did our jobs, glad to be home, but also a little sad that the space shuttle program was winding down. Only a few more missions and that was gonna be it. After 30 years, we were moving on. And what the, the plan was, the change was gonna be to go from flying with the space shuttle and the Russian Soyuz to exclusively using the Russian Soyuz for a while, and then starting up a new program called the Commercial Crew Program, which was gonna be working with private companies like SpaceX to provide launch services to take astronauts from the International Space Station. And a lot of people didn't like this idea of being dependent on another country, not having a second option to go to space, and we were gonna wait uh, and work with a commercial company to do that. That was brand new, and usually NASA did that sort of stuff. So there was a lot of resistance to this, and people just didn't like it. But the truth of it was, that change was coming whether people liked it or not. And you need to accept that change if you wanna to continue to be part of the program. And those who accepted it, moved on and thrived, and those who didn't pretty much had to get out of the way, because no matter what the complaining was gonna be, we had to make these changes. As hard as it was, change was really hard. It was hard to accept that we were gonna change, get rid of the spatial program, change our whole method of doing things. And it was a tough time. But look what's happened, look what's happened now. Just recently, we've had a, a launch of the SpaceX vehicle, the crew, uh, two crew members, Doug Hurley, Bob Benkin, flying to the space station on, on the SpaceX vehicle. They returned safely. We have plans to continue to fly that vehicle. So it's a whole new age. And now what we've done is we've gone from uh, a program that is completely dependent on governments to get people to space, where now it's a partnership really between governments and private enterprise. And it opens up the possibilities for space exploration more than we've ever had before. It's a very exciting time. I think this is leading to a, another golden age of spaceflight, where it's not just governments, but also private companies. And that would have never happened if we did not make the changes from being dependent on the space shuttle to moving forward to working with these private companies. That would have never happened. So as difficult as that change was to accept, it was necessary. And those who accepted it have done really well. Change is gonna happen. If you can anticipate it, that's great. And that's tough to do, but at least accept it when it's coming. Just like right now, changes are there. New ways of doing business are coming down the road here because we had to make this adjustment to working from a distance to everything we had to deal with with the COVID disease uh, to, to adjust to that and to recover from that requires great change, whether we like it or not. We need to at least accept that those changes are coming and do the best we can to implement them and move forward.